hello everybody and welcome back to my channel i'm in my car as always um so you know that means i'm about to take y'all somewhere with me i am about to go grocery shopping i'm on my way to publix and y'all this is long overdue had a long morning this morning it's been raining so it rocked me right to sleep so this is why i'm getting out so late to finally do my grocery shopping but better late than never because I'm, i plan on being pretty busy tomorrow and won't have the time to do it um so i'm oh, sorry i'm sorry if y'all heard me look see uh looking to the side of this just noise that i heard but Anyway, y'all come to Publix with me and let's grab a few things. I'm starting my keto journey over again. So this is gonna be some keto-ish grocery shopping because y'all, I need to do something. I've fallen so far off track, but every time you fall off, you just gotta get back on it. So, all right, I'll see y'all at Publix. <music> but a lot of what I have is drinks. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. First, I got two of these, the Simply Fresh uh, Gourmet Caprese Salads. Um, I really like these, I juice it up a little bit. I don't eat the tomatoes. I take those out, I don't like raw tomatoes and I add olives, but um, I love like the big chunks of mozzarella in here. So I get these. I got two packs of the mini sweet bell peppers. Um, I love these as a good snack. I cook them in my air fryer just a tad, and then I eat it with um, either some like cream cheese. I usually use like the chive cream cheese, um, but sometimes I use it with dip. Like today, I bought this uh, buffalo chicken style dip. Um, this dip is if y'all can see it has less than one gram of carb per two tablespoons so this will be my snack uh i got another salad kit this is probably my favorite salad kit the bacon caesar um, this is really 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 good uh also dishes up a little bit too add some olives and such to it because i love olives but i got this as well I also got some fresh green beans. I love green beans, y'all. Probably one of my favorite vegetables. Hopefully y'all can hear me better now that air went off. So, um, this reminds me though, like I forgot to get some bacon to cook with these, but green beans, I can eat green beans every single day. Fresh, in the can, whatever, but fresh hits different. I may slice up a few of these and I with those green beans when I cook them as well. Up next, I got some baby spinach. Um, I like to put, sometimes I put this on sandwiches, sometimes um, I just saute it with some garlic and season it up and eat it that way. All of this is uh, for my keto journey that I'm starting again, y'all. I know um, they're like, Brittany, you haven't been eating keto and all these other videos you made you right you absolutely right so you know you got to get back on the horse every time you fall off so all of this is low carb and some form of fashion and i'll try to remember to give you the carbs for everything up next i got um some seagram's diet ginger ale just because i love ginger ale and i, I have to have it y'all um diet is the only way you can have soda on keto i don't drink it every day but 
I actually probably only drink a soda once every couple weeks, but when I want it, I want it. And ginger ale is something I want when I want a soda. That's typically the only soda I drink. I got a bunch of these, y'all. These were buy one, get one free. Pretty much everything that you'll see on here that I had more than one of was buy one, get one free, or buy so many for so much of a price at Publix. That's one of the great things that Publix is good for. If y'all been to Publix, you know Publix is a little on the higher side grocery-wise, but it makes up for it because it has a lot of BOGOs and buy so many for this price. So that's why I personally like to go to Publix. Also, I really like fruit. And Publix has the best fruit, in my personal opinion. So these are internal, naturally alkaline spring water. And this water is so good, y'all. So every time it is buy one, get one free, I stock up on it. I think I got 10 bottles this time. I got some Newman's salad dressing. I got the ranch and ranch and the... Uh, Parmesan and roasted garlic. I've never had the Parmesan roasted garlic before, so we're going to see how this tastes. It seems like it'll be good, though. Um, Newman's brand salad dressing is my absolute favorite salad dressing. Um, I haven't found a flavor yet that I don't enjoy. Um, it's, the Italian dressing is amazing. The Italian dressing is probably my favorite. The Caesar dressing. They have Caesar dress. They have like a creamy Caesar dressing like this one, but they also have like a vinaigrette Caesar like this and that vinaigrette caesar is chef's kiss um so yeah i got this the for the parmesan and roasted garlic it is two carbs per tablespoon and for the ranch it is also two carbs per two tablespoons i'm sorry both of these are two carbs per two tablespoons i also got some sriracha sandwich sauce um because I plan on making like some like little quick wraps and stuff like that when I'm at when I'm working for lunch. So I got this because it sounds good. I love sriracha. And this was or is one gram, excuse me, one gram of carbs per teaspoon. And it's sriracha, so it should go a long way. So I don't want to burn myself for it. And just so y'all see how it goes together, I got these. Um, Tumeros, Carboise, Multigrain, um, Tortillas. These are three net carbs per um, tortilla, 60 calories. So y'all can kind of see how to go together. And I also got some uh, roast beef, Hillshire's Farm roast beef. So Y'all see what my lunch is going to be out. Use the carb, I mean a carboized tortilla, roast beef, probably a little bit of spinach, sandwich sauce. Boom, there's my lunch. So the roast beef has less than one gram of carbs per two ounces. So I'm not sure what that would equate to, um, like slice-wise, but there's that. Let's see what else did I get? Uh, I got olives, not olives, y'all, almonds as a snack. Uh, so these, I have the toasted coconut almonds, which are eight total carbs, but it has three dietary fibers. So that makes it five total, uh, five net carbs per serving. And a serving is 28 nuts with, um, and 28 nuts is 160 calories. So five five carbs for 28 almonds. And I also got these, y'all. These are so, so, so good. I don't know if you've ever had them. Again, these were buy one, get one free at Publix. The salt and vinegar almonds. Um, these are five total carbs, three grams of dietary fiber. So that makes them two net carbs for 28 um, almonds. And it's 170 calories. So this is a pretty good snack. Now, you know, as you know, almonds are high in fat, which is pretty good for the keto diet. But if you want to monitor your fat, which I don't really do the whole high fat thing because it personally like kind of turns my stomach. Um, then, you know, monitor it. You, you know, have to eat everything in moderation. But these are a really good snack that I enjoy. And as y'all heard me talk about them numerous times, 
I got some olives. I got some pitted Kalamata olives. I love these. I can just eat them straight out of the container and I do that very often. I got some hard salami. Um, so Publix has these little pre-rolled salami and cheese fingers or salami and prosciutto, salami and pepperoni. And I was about to get those. Oh, let me get back in the camera. I was about to get those, but it was like $5.99 for like six of them. And I was like, hold on. So I was going to buy two of them um, because, you know, I could eat that fairly quickly. So I was like, hold up. I can get a whole pack of salami and some cheese sticks for $10. And I have more than six. So that's what I did. So salami and... cheese sticks. Got some Kobe Jack Sargento cheese sticks. Um, these are zero um, carbs. The salami is one carb for every four slices. Okay, I got some of these ice um, little sparkling water things. These are really good. I got peach nectarine. Blueberry, pomegranate, lemonade, pink grapefruit, and grape raspberry flavor. I also got some other cheese, y'all. I got some Havarti cheese. I'll put those on my racks, too. I got some Parmesan cheese. So, I plan on making like this. I'm going to try to recreate, but with the twist, the, um, the longhorn, like that parmesan crusted chicken that longhorn has i'm gonna try to recreate it but with a twist so i got these chicken breasts over here that's another thing i got i got these um green wise top sirloin fillets um uh, it's just me so this is this both of these is probably like four meals for me i split it in half um, but I love steak, y'all. So, Green Wise, uh, the Green Wise brand at Publix is like the best to me. Uh, it just, the meat tastes different. So, I always try to buy. So, Green Wise just means it's like, like doesn't have the, it's not organic, but it doesn't have like the preservatives and, or it says raised without antibiotics and hormones. So, I always try to buy Green Wise at Publix. It is a little bit pricier, but I think it's good. Um. Now, this isn't green wise, but it's again no hormones, no antibiotic, uh, no animal byproduct feed chicken breast. Um, and I'm gonna use these chicken breasts to try to recreate that parmesan crusted chicken. So I'll let y'all know how it turns out. Um, because I'm just gonna throw something together that I think will work, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna see. I also got some like sharp cheddar and some shredded Kobe, J Kobe Jack cheese over there. And I got some fruit. I got some blackberries, raspberries, and I got two things of strawberries. These are my sweet, for my sweet tooth that I typically get. So I use that with some whipped cream. Or sometimes, sometimes I may put whipped cream. Sometimes, most of the times, I just put tahini and maybe like a stevia on it. And that is how I eat my fruit. So berries are allowed on keto. There's a, a lot of fruits that are not exactly keto. But berries like raspberries, blackberries, strawberries, they are. Um, because you can eat a pretty good amount of them. Like it'll satisfy your sweet tooth without it blowing your carbs. So I also got this is a food, but I got a little spray bottle for my plants. So um so I can spray down my plants. That's not food, but I bought that too. So this is all for my grocery haul, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I had planned on getting more footage while I was in the grocery store, but my friend called me while I was in there. And I discovered at that time that I can't be on the phone and video recording at the same time. So that's why I don't have a whole lot of footage inside of Publix like I had planned. But I hope y'all still enjoyed this video anyway. 
um, feel free to leave me any questions or comments that you might have about keto in the description. I mean, not in the description box, in the comment section. Um, so keto is just a low carb, technically it's a low carb, high fat, high fat diet. You're supposed to stick under 20 grams of carbs a day. Um, and it sounds difficult, but once you get in the swing of things, it's really not that hard to maintain. To maintain so basically your diet consists of meat and vegetables um, and some fruit every now and then and, but you know again I I have these things they in the past have not knocked me out of ketosis which not not to be confused with ketoacidosis ketosis just means your body has switched from burning carbs for um, for energy to switching over to burning fat because your carb content is so low but you cannot eliminate carbs altogether. You can't eliminate anything from your diet altogether, guys. Um, it's just not healthy. Um, you know, I'm not going to get into a whole big thing because, you know, the keto community is kind of harsh in these YouTube streets. But there are a lot of things in keto that I don't necessarily ascribe to. And I still had great results with it. Um, like I said, I don't really do the whole high fat thing. Um, some people just eat bacon and cheese and fried cheese and chaffles and all this other stuff and I, my body won't let me do that it literally turns my stomach so do what works best for you i tried to modify it in a way that works best for me and it has worked best for me so um when i stop doing it you know and with the panoramic that's going on i was at home eating and all this other stuff and you know i gained all that weight that i lost right back so now all i can do is start over so that's what i'm gonna do and yep that's it you guys i hope y'all enjoyed this video let me know in the comment section what else you would like to see from me um and don't forget to like share and subscribe and i will see y'all in the next video bye